Hi, everyone. It's Eric, your endless courier here at the South Bay Association of Realtors. Happy Friday, and thank you for joining me for another compliance video. Today, I will go over Rule 8.3, Accuracy of Information. Now, this CMS rule does encompass a lot. It includes information such as out of cell sold, which I did go over in a previous video. So it goes over APN information, if there is no APN included or in the listing, or if it's incorrect. Also includes the square footage, if it's incorrect, as well as listing status. If you don't update the listing to its correct status after an offer is accepted to pending or active on a contract within two days, that is a violation of 8.3. But I'm going to go over a particular situation, which is inputting a property as two different MLS listing types, property types. If you have a listing that is a duplex or a triplex, you can put it as two different property types. So two different listings as two different property types, one as a residential and one as a residential income. If you get an offer for the property, put one of the listings to active under contract or pending and put the other listing in withdrawn. When the listing closes, put the pending active under contract listing into sold and have your broker cancel the other listing. Do not put both as sold because it will seem like you had sold two properties when actually it was just one. And it would also affect the market stats, the comps. So if you put both as sold, that would be inaccurate information, in which case a violation would be coming towards you. If you would like more information about this, please feel free to email MLS at SouthBayAOR.com. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.